Welcome to the Energy Design Systems Load Calculator program. In this module, we're going to show you how to log in to your application. There are two ways to get to the login screen. One of them is to use the URL that was sent to you when you registered for the software. Hopefully you've saved that as a favorite or as a desktop with desktop icon uh, as well. But if not, this is the URL right here, which is yourvirtualhvac.com forward slash application forward slash login. The other way to get to this page, if you ever forget it, is through our website. You go to the homepage, eds.tech, you click on login, and that will also take you over to that screen. From here, you can go ahead and plug in your uh, credentials. You can plug in your username, which is your email address, as well as your password. If you ever forget your password, you can click on forget your password. You can also ask for help down here in the bottom right hand corner with the chat feature. If you're not registered and somehow you got to this page, you can register from the screen as well. But once you do log in, the application has the ability to save your credentials right here on the screen so that you don't have to type them in every time. So that way they're there. We'll go ahead and log in. And if you've signed up for multiple of our programs, you'll see that you have access to all the programs that you are registered for. And in this case, we're going into Load Calculator. And if that's all you have registered for, that's all you'll see as a button. And as you can see, that brings us right into the application. And from here, you can go ahead and start a load calculation right over here, where you have access to your previously performed load calculation reports, in which you can open those, or you can also download the report. You also have access to the full navigation uh, of the application itself up here at the top right, including your account where all your credentials reside, with the exception of your email address. We don't allow people to change their email address within the application as of now uh, for security purposes because in many cases the company has purchased this software for the user and we don't want the user to have the ability to change the uh, login address for a company purchased piece of software if they should in fact leave the company. But you do have the ability to go ahead and change some information here within the software, change your password, upload your logo, and then uh, no one tends to use this, but there's some information here for purposes of the terms and conditions which you could attach to the report. That's how you log into the program. We'll see you in the next module.